Hi everybody, welcome back to Imagine Your Odyssey. Today I'd like to talk to you about leveling your travel trailer. Now, I'm going to go over a method of which I do mine, and let's see if it's something like yours. Now, you can leave down in the comments how you level your travel trailer, and I'm sure there's going to be a ton of us who are going to learn a little bit of something about how you do that. But I just wanted to share this quick method about how I've done mine, and save me a little bit of time by getting set up at the campground just a little bit faster, so that I can enjoy more of what I went there to do. So first off, what I did is I went to the campground and I set up for the first time. I went inside the RV and I made sure that everything was level by putting a four foot level on the floor and measuring east and west. That means from tire to tire or side to side. And then I measured from front to back, got everything nice and level. After that, I took my level on the outside of the RV so that I can set up and have it ready for the next trip. And here's how all that worked. So here's what I did. I went to the front of the RV where the propane tank is. It's where the little A-frame sticks out from the trailer. What I did is set the level on the front where the A-frame is and laid it there so that I could see how level it was. It turns out that it wasn't too far off, but I ended up putting a little bit of shim on the trailer itself so that every time I set up, I know that if I put the level right there, that from side to side or from tire to tire or east to west, that the camper will be level from there on out. Now, the reason I did that is that I don't have to go inside of the travel trailer anymore to set up side to side. I just put the level there and it'll be right every single time. Now that leaves front to back. How do you get front to back level? What I did there is I went to the side of the camper where the steps are, where they come down to go inside of the RV, and I can actually reach my frame. It's the little eye beam up underneath of the RV. I went and stuck it on there to see if it was level there. And again, it was pretty darn close. But what I did is put a little bit of shim in there and glued it down. That way, every time I put my level on there, it'll match what the inside of the RV looks like. So the next time that I went to the campground, I put the level on the front, got it level side to side, then put it on the side over there by the door where I had put the little shim at, and put the level on there and got it leveled. And then when I opened the door, put down the steps and checked the level on the inside, this was the second trip, everything turned out level and perfect. So how did this save me time over trip to trip? Well, what it does is that it saves me from having to go inside of the RV and check and level, coming back out, making some adjustments, going back in, letting my steps down, bringing them back up, and doing that cycle again and again. So now, for every campground that I go to, I can put the level on the front, I back up a little bit, check how level I am, I keep backing up, get side to side right, then after that, I disconnect from the truck. I put my level on the side of the camper by the steps, and then I raise or lower the nose to get that level, and then I am done. It doesn't take me no more than about 15 minutes to get completely set up and done, and it's over. I'm all done and ready to go start setting up the rest of the camper so that I can go enjoy my trip. I'll leave a link to a four foot level that you can find on Amazon. You can look up any kind that you want, but I'll leave a specific link down below because like I said, I wanted to show you one that you can get for under 20 to $25 and you can put in your storage bay and do that same method on your travel trailer. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button. Also, beside that little subscribe button, there is a little bell over there. If you click on that, and hit all then you'll get all the amazing videos coming from imagine your odyssey in the future and you will be there to hang out with us grow our community and share some comments down below but before you leave please leave a comment down below on what you think of this video and some of the methods that you use to level your rv if you have a fifth wheel and all those automatic systems well throw that down there too if you have some other creative ways of which you level your travel trailer please share them below because I am highly interested in understanding and learning all the different things that you guys did out there. And I'm sure there'll be somebody else reading the comments that wants to see it also. So until the next time, enjoy your RV, keep it level, and God bless.